Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Let's Play in Enigmatica. Enigmatica Two. Enigmatica Two. I probably will try never saying that again. Expert mode. Uh, and I've been excited to try this pack out. Uh, we found Sev Tech to be just too much of a pain in the exploration grinding zone. I would spend several hours uh, literally grinding and looking for just something. And it kind of made it boring. It kind of like made the game stand still. And uh, I wasn't really happy with that. So I thought I'd check out some other packs. And this one was actually highly rated out there. A lot of people are saying this reminds them of like the Infinity Expert days. And uh, they really enjoy it. So uh, I already have a world started. Uh, I just want to show you. Uh, I'll just do the recreate. Uh, so I have this is the seed. Or you can type in Stone Legion like that. And that's also the seed. And uh, I pre-generated the world ahead of time uh, so I could have a less linear experience. So I'll log in with you guys. It'll be a little laggier and we have to wait for a few seconds. But uh, at least there won't be a lot of lag. I noticed a lot of YouTubers out there. I was checking them out when SevTech came out. I don't really watch a lot of YouTubers, oddly enough. But uh, I did check a couple of uh, just like how people get started in their videos. And... Um, I noticed a lot of people were basically sitting there stalling out and lagging quite a bit. And I thought, well, there's no need for that. You can either log in and let the world generate and then restore your level dat to, you know, when you first created it or uh, pre-gen your world as well, things like that. So that's what I did here today. So uh, you can see daytime at the top right says nine seconds in. So it's a fresh, like this is brand new. This is like the first time you go in. Um, nothing's changed there. Of course, the game is freezing on the load part, yay, Minecraft, uh, but we'll get there. Actually, are we getting there? We'll get there. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, that's quite a bit of lag there to start off. Wow. It almost like the world didn't even generate, but I'm pretty sure it did generate. I'm going to double check here. Uh, Cause that was weird. That shouldn't have liked that much, but it was like I've never, never uh, done anything on here. So where's the instance folder in Minecraft? Uh, says let's just double check the file size. Yeah, three hundred and fifteen. So it just it sucks at loading, but there's no stalling now. So you can see the F three here, nice FPS. I have it capped at like one hundred forty. So that's why it's kind of going a little there uh there's a difficulty mod on here apparently as time goes on uh mobs become more difficult they have higher health um and uh, apparently uh as well as leaving your spawn area over time uh it changes quite a bit uh you got quest book here and you got your quests here so you get you're getting started you got your gates i guess this is unlocking to other areas uh, so you slowly work your way down here and then you can see there's tons of quests here. Oh, there's a bragging rights one. I guess they show that right away, or yeah, I guess so. I'm done it. Interesting. For some reason, I thought the bragging rights one would have been locked behind the wall, but I guess not. <laughs> uh, so there you go. You got your uh, different stuff here. Uh, before I begin, I want to make sure, yep, all the cheat stuff. Some developer or some mod packs forget to turn that off. Uh, so right off the bat, you got berries here. Uh, do we have that saturation mod? Uh, nutrients, fruit? No, we don't. Awesome. Oh my, the uh, or dictionary stuff is on. So if you uh, turn on Optifine, uh, sometimes I turn the this on accidentally when I was testing stuff. There you go. Um, you can hold shift anyways and bring it up. Uh, so yes, good. We don't have that saturation mod on here. Uh, well, not the saturation, but the one where uh, basically you have to stop eating that type of food or you get screwed right away. But uh, we do have the uh, nutrients mod on, which I think is kind of fun. Ooh, it looks like they started higher than normal. Is it usually 75? I think it's about 50. Oh, look at there's a little shack already over here. So yeah, I guess we're going to take this more like a vanilla style. Let's Let's check the quest book right away. And we'll go to getting started. We got a welcome package here. Welcome to blah blah blah. This mod pack is designed to challenge the player through various of means that's uh, uh, especially uh, harder recipes. I advance you to automate craft things as much as possible. Blah blah blah. Check the box. I suggest you make a backpack out of the tanned leather and wooden frame. Good luck. So, uh, what was it called? A backpack. Okay. So right off the bat, we can put those on us. And let's check out a backpack here. So there's a backpack mod on here. 
and it looks pretty simple. Uh, you need a crafting table, which I assume crafting table is just regular, yeah. Uh, well, we'll see. I, I, I say it, it, I, th I think it's normal, but it might not be so normal. I'm already seeing uh, not uh, a recipe for it, so we'll see what happens when we hit a tree. Oh, you know what's on here? Um, I think it even has a little uh, message here for you. Did you know vein miner? Here you go. So grab a bunch of wood. So uh, they have vein miner on here. Uh, it's, it's not supposed to be a hardcore. Oh, I'm going to tap each tree one by one forever. It's more like mid, 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 ugh, middle to end game. Like let's get you a little closer to that and do some cool stuff. It's not, oh, let's sit you here and make you suffer. Now I wonder if I can do this without the right tool. Let's see. Yep. <laughs> Interesting. I wonder when it does those noises, nice, they'll plant. Because there's something in Sevtech they would plant over time, but I don't remember hearing them make noises like that. Interesting. So uh, right off the bat, um, you can see that we got this one. And, oh, we get four chests. Ooh, can't say no to chests. And then there's apparently a scanning. There's slight chance per chunk that super ore vein generates. Uh, there are six different kinds of super veins which can be found in various lot Y levels. Nuclear craft ores only spawn in super veins. The pack has a few different items that can help you find ores, the scanner being one of them. That is so cool. So there's a scanner that you can use. Uh, something I wanted in Greg Tech, and or sorry, not I shouldn't say Greg Tech, but GT New Horizons. Something I always wanted in the earlier stages, which <clears throat> we never had. Uh, so right off the bat, I like this. I am going to, wait, there's a hive right near us. Where is this pesky hive? I just don't want it to be, huh. Well, we'll clear out here. I'm thinking I'll, I'll live around here anyways, right? We might live underground a bit for, you know, a bit, but we'll see how things go. So first of all, uh, let's see what we can do here. Uh, so can we just make a normal... Oh, there you go. Wasn't rocket science there. And we saw the recipe being this for the backpack. There we go. And there you go. So you can store your, your items in there if you need to and take them out. And this is the same one I think we tested before where uh, we were able to upgrade it without losing your items inside of it, where some... Uh, packs you can't do that Ooh, actually let's see here uh do 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 no apple tree uh, recipe just wondering if there's uh ah three apples okay we're not quite there yet but we will be Okay, so uh, I'm assuming beds of any any shape, size, same recipe. Okay, so before the day kind of changes on us, we really, really need to find some sheep. Uh, I also should make some tools. I, I don't know why I didn't even think about that. Uh, let's see here. This is when things will probably change on us. Let's see. Uh, let's not do them weird numbers like that. They have a weird thing that makes me not be able to do my old-fashioned right-click. Oh, I can do that. Oh. Uh, vanilla tools don't work. Use king, Tinker's Tinker's Construct. I was going to say Tinker's Tinkery. Uh, harvest. Harvest tools, levels, customs. These are quests will show you. You need to reach the next level. So Flint. Uh, okay, so I need Flint, basically. Okay, so we have to go out and get Flint. Okay. Oh, you know what I have? I like it later on because it's annoying, but I hate it early on. It's a dynamic FOV, but if you got like really crazy flying who knows what later on, it's beyond annoying. Uh, so, ooh, we're never going to kill him. <laughs> uh, let's go get the flint and figure out what we're going to do there. Oh, what is going on there? Holy crap. That was, w whoa, what is, okay, you know what? We're getting rid of that. Screw that. I don't know what's causing that. Okay. I do know I'm moving slightly faster anyways, but uh, it, it didn't feel like it at first, but uh, whatever was going on there was much, much worse. So basically, we're just looking for gravel around. I wanted wool too, but I don't think we're going to get that right away. 
Oh, there's sheep there too. Well, you could kill them with your punching. It's worth it, right? So. There you go. Just need one more and we can make a bed. Wait, is there some time slowing down mod on here? What the heck? We've been playing for, well, I don't know. It just feels like it's going slower because the, the time up at the top right says daytime is 8.53. Does that seem right speed? Maybe. Oh, hell no. It's going night. <laughs> okay. No, there is no such thing like that, Kane. <laughs> I was like, this is interesting, guys. Uh, you can plant those bushes with you. I'll leave them for now. But uh, I was like, oh, this is interesting. Uh, it looks like there's something that slows the daytime down. What the heck does that daytime mean compared to the daytime? Why does it say 927 when it looks like it's nighttime almost? I've never used, I have to be honest, I've never used the built-in uh, journey map daytime anything to begin with. So... Uh, that's not really helping us, so there you go. Can I make it black in any way, or does it have to be like a dominant amount? I guess it has to be dominant. There we go, my friends. You can only sleep at night, of course, which we will get there. Oh, look at this. We got some here anyways. Now, remember, sometimes I record a little ahead, like I have a few episodes, etc. I do read your comments. Don't always reply. I should probably get better at replying, though. Maybe I'll make that my goal. You guys can hound me, if not. Um, but uh, one thing I should do is, um, if you have feedback or whatever, let me know about feedback ahead of time, not, not just what you see. Uh, difficulty 3, interesting. So difficulty is rising as we speak. I heard when you sleep, the difficulty goes up, but at the same time, it's like, ye, early stage, you're not going to sit around and uh, wait till the night's over, right? Especially when you're recording, doing Let's Plays, so, yeah, we'll live with it. Okay, so uh, let's not mess around anymore. Let's look for that damn uh, flint. Now, I see something over here. It could be a gravel, uh, it could be a gravel pier, actually. I'm actually hoping and wondering about that, but... Uh, Yep, there you go. So let's see if I can make a boat. What are you doing? What is that? A wood pile. Oh. Let's see what we can do here. If boats are about the same as normal, then we'll be good. Oh, why did you? I guess this was not usable at all then. Yeah, because it, it's already dead, basically. Um, I was just thinking, I'll leave this down here at the beach instead. That way it's easier for me to find and use in the future if I need to. Uh, okay, there you go, so we can make a boat just fine, and of course boats in, oh, I forget which version now, m became such a good thing, oh no, don't do it Kane, don't do it, you're, you're doing something really bad, don't do it, 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 oh, we, oh cool, it has a cap, okay. I was going to say, there goes the entire beachfront instantly. Um, they have the, let's see here, controls. There you go. Yes, thank you. I, I, I don't mind the stepping, but it, their version sucks. Vanilla one or whatever. I don't know if that is vanilla, but it just feels like it. There you go. Yeah, who's the man? I forgot about that. I would have wasted my time, you know, not doing that, so... I'm glad I realized that the last second there. Okay. Let's check out journey map here. So journey map, I already binded to my M key. Uh, just, just how I like it. Uh, you can change a lot of things in journey map, which is awesome. Uh, one of the things I prefer to change right away is where, oh, it's down here now. What the heck is this stuff? There you go. Yeah, back to the old UI theme. 
Uh, also, I like to change the map sometimes. So you can go to options, which, well, I have to find those now. Uh, mini map, and I like to change this into usually a square. Uh, so where is a square? Oh, and I like to change this to X, Y, and Z. Oh, and I don't want game time at all. Oh, I said blank, I guess. There you go. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, here's a circle square. There you go. And then, uh, yeah, I'm happy with that a bit more. And I could probably zoom in a bit. Yeah, there we go. That just makes me a little happier. I just prefer the square one and... Uh, you know, it tells me the biome, so that's all I have. Usually, if I was doing multiplayer, we'd have, like, the in-game info and stuff. But, you know, what? I'm trying to play packs as they are. I don't want to be kind of cheap using enhancements and stuff like that anymore. You can see we already have Thomcraft. Is Thomcraft supposed to label things already? I guess that is how it works now. Interesting. You know, it's been a long time, right? So I, I have no clue. Uh, okay, so let's check out the book. So we got the flint. Yay, yay, yay. We got the flint. Complete, detect... Uh, what are we? Oh, you have to choose a reward. Oh, a steel knife blade, a silver sword blade. Huh, I'll do steel. I mean, just in my mind, steel sounds like it's better, so we'll go with that. Okay, and uh, clay buckets. Since you don't have access, you have to use clay buckets. Okay, so because we don't have access to iron yet, I guess we can't mine it probably. Uh, so that makes sense. And it looks like if you look at this recipe, the scanner, can you not look at recipes by clicking them? I guess not. Uh, scanner. Uh, this scanner here requires iron, iron bars, gold, nether, so nether quartz. You can get that in the overworld, but it does sound like kind of like it's over time. So it kind of sounds like this mod pack does not quite hold your hand in the early stage. It wants you to accelerate, level up, get out there, and then uh, do something. So that makes sense. So uh, we're not going to probably get a guide on how to use uh, uh, Tinker's Construct stuff. We just know we need to make the, the Tinker stuff. So we can go Tinker's, uh, and uh, it's been a while, but uh, basically it should be all the same, right? The workbench and all that. Uh, I guess we're going to just type stencil and all that. Oh, yeah, table. I wonder they all, if they're all called tables or... No, just the one. Okay. And the stencils are the same. Okay. So let's do this, my friends. Let's do this. Uh, let's do eight of these. And let's go like this. And uh, I guess I should probably do a bunch of these as well. Here you go. Now, I'm not going to make as many as you can make here, but uh, that's good for now. Uh, you need them for certain things, right? So you got your stencil table. And then you got your parts table. Uh, there's crafting table one as well. Uh, so you got your tool station. And then um, wasn't there a crafting crafting table? Well, there's the there's the container as well. But hmm, I guess I can make that. There's the it holds all the parts in it. Ooh, am I crazy or is chest not normal? <laughs> oh, oh, who is being dirty today? So apparently a chest requires basically uh, log planks, treated wood as well, it looks like. <laughs> nice. And then a button, which means stone. So interesting. I like that. Uh, so I won't sacrifice the thing for stencils right now, but normally you would, I guess, if you wanted to. So let's go ahead and uh, so we got the tool station, we got a parts builder, stencil table, so we'll put parts builder there, and we'll put the stencil table over here. And I really don't know, there's a, there's a way you're supposed to actually do this where they're all linked, but I never do it right, so I'm going to be honest about that right away. So tool station, st parts builder, I don't know if that fixes it, but anyways. Uh, so we're going to go over here and we're going to go ahead and make our first pick. So we'll get a head. Uh, we'll get the tool rod and then we'll get uh, what am I missing son a binding pattern I'm pretty sure and then we go over to the parts builder and we can drop in our flint here uh, Oops, sorry. It's on this side 
So there you go. And it tells you what flint offers, which is awesome. And we'll go ahead and make a full flint one here. And then you can, I assume it's that leveling one where you can change all the parts. And then, of course, you pick the, uh, the one here. Oh, they all go to the right spot now. I like that. And there you go. So we got uh, ourselves a flint uh, pick. And then we can go and get some more materials, which are probably going to be probably cobblestone or something like that. But uh, harvest level zero, harvest level one. Uh, but it wants us to work on uh, smeltery, so I guess harvest level one is probably going to be cobblestone, uh, which oddly enough, I don't think cobblestone trumps flint tools, but I could be wrong. Uh, we can see if we can even make stone tools, uh, but let's, uh, oh, there's flint over there. Um, I keep saying flint because that's what you needed. Uh, there's some gravel over here. Let's break the bushes too. Now these bushes, I don't know if it's been fixed yet, but in Sevtech, these darn bushes, they would be floating in the water all the time. So, uh, actually kind of easy to, oops, I forgot, I need something in my hand. There we go. Kind of really easy to actually uh, get, to be honest. There we go. I don't need every single one either. And then sand, probably going to need it, so might as well grab it. There we go. And more bushes. Bushes. All these flipping of the items. I'm happy they... I didn't remove any mods on this pack. Didn't need to. Uh, they didn't add that crazy bush mod or anything like this. Ooh, Batania. Ooh, man, I haven't played Batania in ages. I'm actually excited. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm legitimately excited for that, my friends. Uh, what were we looking for anyways? We were looking for like some cobblestone or something at first and it never happened. Some gravel would, or so, uh, not gravel, clay would be nice too. Here is a piece of clay. Hey, I can't. Advancements, ender IO conduits. Yay, guys. Uh, did I put advancements on L? No, log is on L. J is advancements here. So ender IO conduits. Oh yeah, we're getting there. <laughs> Ooh, nuclear crafts on here. Husbandry? Husbandry? Husbandry. Interesting. Adventure. Vanilla Minecraft, I'm assuming. Minecraft. An advanced rocketry. Yes! I'm even more excited. I want to get through advanced rocketry. I've never, ever, ever had the pleasure of playing it. So I'm happy it's in this pack. Um, oh, cobblestone. What is this stuff? What, is it? what are you? Polished andersite. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness, that was kind of cool. Just watching the cobblestone spin around. Ooh, this used to be useful. Probably not anymore, but uh, we'll grab it. Did I grab it? I guess I grabbed it. Sorry, guys, I'm getting excited. Oh, we're... Oh, there's those mushrooms. Oh, Thumbcraft Fist mushrooms, which I learned later on you can transfer them, transform them to get fists from them. So we're in an actual magic forest? Yeah, this is the magic forest. Hell, you got to admit, I have probably one of the best biomes starting ever. And the weird thing is, this was my first try. I was going to literally pick a few seeds over and over, but I always start with Stone Space Legion just as a seed. Uh, not for my multiplayer servers, of course, because I don't want people to guess those seeds and I don't tell them out, of course, right? But uh, for this kind of stuff, I wanted to uh, I wanted to share it with you. I think I forgot in SevTech, unfortunately. I think I forgot to tell you what the seed was, so I didn't want to do that again, and so uh, I kind of made it my goal. Interesting. Is this this mod, or is it something else? Interesting, huh? And there we go. So uh, it's another night, and... Uh, I'm not going to kill monsters or anything, but uh, I think what we'll do is uh, we'll stop here for the evening and we'll continue on. And uh, so basically I will look for more clay. I mean, we'll grab some clay and some more gravel and then uh, we'll go from there. So uh, thank you guys and girls so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye.